I'm speaking to Simon Mason, Grable Relocations Vice President of Business De Development for the EMEA region. Grable is sponsoring this year's Relocate Awards for Inspirational HR Team of the Year, one of our most important categories. As many listeners will know, Grable Relocation is a management firm that provides full service relocation, mobility and consultancy for services for global 100 and Fortune 500 companies on six continents. Simon Mason has more than 10 years experience in the relocation industry and has relocated half a dozen times, including stints in Australia and the USA. So he's familiar with the cultural nuances and challenges faced by an executive on an overseas assignment. First, let's talk about Inspirational HR Team of the Year. What made Grable Relocation decide to sponsor the Relocate Awards in general and this category in particular? So this year uh, actually represents the first time Grable Relocation has sponsored the awards. Um, we feel privileged to be associated with an organisation in uh, Relocate Global that provides such wonderful resources and insights to the supporters in global mobility. Specifically, we were inspired by this award due to the very nature of its title, Inspirational HR Team of the Year. Um, conjures up all sorts of impressions of um, fantastic achievements uh, within mobility, within many organizations. And we believe that the past winners and nominees of this award have epitomized the word inspirational in terms of what's been achieved through accomplishments within each of their businesses. And this category highlights the critical contribution that HR actually makes to achieving the overall business objectives of any organization. Mm, I'm delighted you feel that because that's absolutely what we were aiming for. So can you tell us about Grable Relocation and how it supports business agenda and growth in international markets? Sure. Um, Grable Relocation is a leading global provider of assignment management and employee relocation services. In 165 countries, we work with leaders in the global 100 all the way through to companies that are beginning to take their first steps internationally. Um, we actually work a lot with globally active organizations and specifically consult on their programs, their policies, and then source and administer the services all over the globe. Previously, Grable actually focused exclusively on US companies, but in 2008, we opened up our first service center in EMEA. And since then, our mission is to establish ourselves as the supplier and employer of choice across the globe, but specifically in the European market. Mm. And what, what are the current trends in global mobility among Grable clients? So this is actually an area which is kind of very close to my heart because earlier in my career, I led uh, extensive academic research into the trends within global mobility. Now, in the last four years, Grable has managed over 227,000 assignments and relocations worldwide. So during that time, we've seen a whole number of changes um, that have passed through mobility. Um, today, I'm supported by Grable's consultancy teams, and we have the privilege of working with many of our clients on kind of hot topics such as compliance, integration with talent management, um, extended business travelers, um, and also um, right down to, I guess, issues that surround the uh, complexities of intra-country policies and technology. And it's the latter um, two elements which have been a real area of focus for some of our accounts recently, um, where we've added a lot of additional value in helping them achieve um, the goals that they set out for themselves in those areas. So I guess to start with uh, intra-country policies, um, two countries specifically would be intra-China and intra-India activity, but it's not just emerging markets that have kind of seen this focus. Actually, a number of countries within Europe as well uh, and clients have realized that the intra-country activity is a breeding ground for issues with compliance and also potentially transfer dissatisfaction due to often a lack of oversight or just a fragmented supply chain management. Um, the second key element that I talked about there is technology and I kind of see that go in two different directions in terms of trends with our current clients. One, technology as a solution to provide additional support 
to the lump sum transferee. And secondly, the utilization of technology, essentially with predictive analytics specifically, to take the guesswork out of forecasting within global mobility and also provide a very effective vehicle to elevate the importance of global mobility from a business process to a true strategic asset. So you've certainly got lots to talk about and great research there. So any readers and viewers can um, have a look at that on the Grable section of our website. So thanks very much for filling us in. Um, I know you cover countries such as Brazil and Singapore and UA UAE, um, immigration reforms, all sorts of things. So it's absolutely perfect, it seems to me, that you're sponsoring the Inspirational HR Team of the Year Award. So thanks very much for talking to us. Great, thank you, and we're very pleased to be supporting the awards.